Adventures. Today we went out pig hunting and I had pigs come in pretty early. Uh, went ahead and picked one out and, and shot. So I was kind of hoping some more pigs would come back in. I'm going to give it a couple more minutes and then um, I'm going to go look for that pig. Since I was shooting a little low in practice, uh, I went ahead and went for a shoulder shot. The feeder just went off again. Hopefully that'll bring the pigs back in. Time to go find that pig. There's the blood. It's got kind of a pinkish consistency. Looks like lung. All right, on the trail now. There we go. More blood, more blood. Blood, 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 blood. and dead. There's the exit wound right there. All right. That's one eaten size pig right there. Uh, very happy to get a pig this morning. Uh, gun I'm using is a Remington 700. It's a 25-06. Um, beautiful little gun for uh, deer and pigs. Redneck chiropractics. <laughs> Redneck You know, you might want to just leave the whole thing straight like that. Well, but it's a... these these ends here will. I don't know. I, I mean, think them. A... I think they'll make better better uh, chops. Pork chops. Yeah. So today we're doing a super simple pork ribs. I shot this pig this weekend. Uh, it was about 100 pounds when I cleaned it. Made some pork chops out of the uh, lower end. And on this rack of ribs here, we have the neck meat as well as the back strap still on there. That looks pretty darn good. All right, let's be quick. And I left a lot of fat on this pig while I was cleaning it. so should really be delicious. All right, we'll let that go for another hour. 